Hey Solus, welcome back to round two. Um, I'm up to the lookout phase, I've got to choose, so select four cards, and I do the old select two, and I'm gonna spend workers to be able to do that. Decided to keep two again, that's all the cards I've got left in my hand. So I'm gonna spend two here, to spend workers part, and we then go to the event phase. So I grab the five tokens, and then consult our Solar scenario, what am I gonna get, what am I gonna get, what am I get? Come on, big money, big money. Five again, that could happen. So, I've gotta spend a sheep or exhaust one field location. Um, it's not a big deal for me, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do all field locations anyway. I'm gonna exhaust the uh, white lock again. Um, no big deal, it gets unexhausted in the round. Um, and then it is my turn to play. So this is round two, I need 24 more points. And let's do this. Ooh, as the shadows cast over my game here, it's gotten a little dark. But um, what, I, what I could do here, I'm thinking I might have to spend the sheep. Now, some people say, I don't have a sheep. I can spend my gold, a sheep. So I'll spend my gold, a sheep, to do a harvest. And because I need some wood here, I really, really need some wood. So, actually, from before, I think I forgot to get the building bonus of this wood because I conquered that in the expedition phase. So I should have a wood in my pile. So I might rethink what I'm gonna do here. So scratch that harvest move, I'm gonna get my gold coin back. Um, yeah, I believe I should have that wood um, that I didn't have before. Next, I'm gonna use my Mantis Island ability to spend a wood to gain two wood. So I'm gonna exhaust that. So technically I'm gonna spend this, but overall I'm just gonna get one more wood. Put that into my pile. Okay. Um, next, 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 next. I'm gonna spend this wood. Ooh. Spend the wood. Um, I'm going to build this. Uh, Brave Sailors, which lets me spend two to sail. So what that means is, when the capital is like this, it means I get the action without having to use the pawns at the, at the top. So I'm gonna put that out. I'm then gonna use it straight away. I've got three pawns left, that's two to sail. Now, if you have a card in your hand, like this one I've got here, this is the first time I've come across this uh, for our video. Some of them say that you have to do a certain action to be able to play it. I'm now sailing, so I can put this out. And it says, copy of a conquered island. See how it's black, oh sorry, um, gray color. That means it's like an instant feature thing that happens. So copy of a conquered island, so I do this now, I'm doing this feature straight away, copy of a conquered island. I'm going to copy this. Um, so that means I'm going to play that to copy that. I believe that's how that works with the extra thing there. Um, please let me know in the comments on YouTube if I've done that wrong. I'm going to spend another wood again too. So I'm going to get another wood back essentially overall. Beautiful. And then still sailing. So uh, where am I going to sail to? This time I might just put the fish on here. I'm aiming to pillage the distant islands. Um, and then this round the expedition phase. Again, I'm out of cards. I've still got my two pawns, but I might just focus on what I can do down here. Um, I could spend one to gain two, so I'm going to get an extra food overall. That's that one gone. Um, I'm going to do this action down here. Spend a wood and a food to gain two points and retrieve a worker back. So retrieve a worker. Uh, technically, I should have spent this and the food first. Okay. And I remember that overall scenario, I need to save up some food, but I'll get there. Um, I retrieved a worker back. I'm going to get two points. I'm going to give myself to eight. Beautiful. Now, I'm trying to aim to get this done this round, which might be a bit difficult because I can't get a rock yet. I could harvest to try and get it again, but it might be hard to get that. I also need my fish. So I wasn't really paying attention there. Uh, and I can't really get that with, with what's going on. Um, so I'm thinking I might explore to get another card to see what I'll get. So it's a card to your hand for free. Uh, what's that? A copy of... Okay, so the copies means it copies this symbol. So this one's got this little <laughs> nice looking Garden of Eden sort of type uh, symbol. I'm looking for this totem symbol, which um, I have one of. So I could copy this ability, so I can use it twice in a round, essentially. Um, which would give me a couple of points if I try to build it. Might have a go at this one here. Spend two. I've got two workers. Spend two to get a raised token and a fish. Spend two to get a raise token in a fish. I might have a go at that one. So that's my last two workers being used. And I'll gain myself 
a nice little fish. Beautiful. I then would have to spend my gold token here to try and harvest again. Um, or do I? I'm then going to do this pantry. I'm going to have to use my gold as the rock. The rock says um, the food and the fish to get myself four points. Excellent. Glad I got there. And then with that one, so I get myself four points. I go up to 12 in the second round. Excellent. I can then do this one, spend one and discard a card. So I'm going to do that. Um, actually, we'll. Uh, yeah, yeah. Spend one, discard a card. So flip that over. I'm going to discard the one card I've got left in my hand and spend my last timber to grab a nearby on to add to my empire. Um, I'm going to grab this giant lizard. Each time you pillage, you gain a sheep. I'm going to get a timber and a raise token for my troubles and add that to my pile and this is going to add to my empire. Um, yep, and this, this one here, it says here each time I pillage, I'm about to do soon, I get a sheep, so I better remember that. It's a feature which can happen. Um, I've still got one pawn left, I could populate. Um, I can't harvest because I don't have a gold coin or anything, but I could populate. I might do that, which means I have to feed more at the end of the game, but I think it'd be worth it. So I use my spawn to populate, um, and I grab a worker, like an extra worker, add some babies. Um, and then I can actually use my small market. I can spend one to gain a gold coin. Beautiful. Beautiful. And that might do me for this round. Let's look at expedition phase. So expedition phase, I've got a ship which lets me go to the distant islands. I'm gonna go and pillage Splinter's Island. So pillage means I just get these. So I get a sheep, um, a fish, and a food to add to my empire. And also get a point. So after 13 points, going all right. Um, and then this gets discarded. But um, it's the end of the round anyway. This sh ship comes back to my empire. So clean up phase, get discarded, discarded, new ones come out. Ooh, little Tiger Island. New Island. Okay. Alrighty. So I flip the orange ones back over and where the pawns are now, they get flipped over to orange. I don't think I'm going to populate again, explore. I'm not sure if I need to do that might because I don't have too many cards, but harvesting would be good. Almost forgot to, my feature on this one. Each time I pillage, I gain a sheep. So this engine's going pretty well. Getting heaps of resources. And I turn up all my cards, including all the conquered ones, to get ready for round three. And that's what we're gonna do. We'll get our workers back. And then we're gonna make this round three. 13 points to start the round with the lookout phase, where I draw one, two, Three, four cards. I'm gonna spend workers to decide which ones I'm gonna keep. Hmm, none of these cards are really that good for me here. Um, that's what I want to. I might just keep this one here, riding the monster. And that lets, means I have to just spend one worker. I mean, spent to grab that into my hand. Okay, event for the third round, as we get blinded by the light here, is number five. <laughs> oh, wow, my shuffling's not the best. So, number five again, I have to spend a sheep or exhaust a field. Um, I'll spend a sheep. I've got two sheep. I'm gonna spend one to stop exhausting. Alrighty. Let's over to my actions. Um, I've only got one card in hand, so I've gone down the pathway of um, using all the cards and having it all in the empire. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, five people left in my empire. Uh, let's have a think what we're gonna do. I think we're first gonna use some of these. So, um, well, it's a bit dark there. Um, spend a wood to gain two wood, so I would spend that, get two back, so I just might as well grab one. I've got something similar right here, spend a food to gain two food. So spend a food, and I'll get one back, so just one more. Um, next. I think it'd be next to be good to do this one. Um, spend a timber and a food to gain two points and retrieve a worker. So I'm going to spend 
timber and food. Um, I've got one worker that's spent so far. He comes back. Um, and then I get two points. Up to 15. I'm going to spend a timber here and discard the only card I have. Um, to do this ability, where I get to take any nearby island and immediately add it to my empire. So, nearby island, I'm going to take the one that gives me the rock. Um, if I build this, I get a rock, and I can spend a rock to get two rocks. So technically, you'll need the building bonus, I'm going to straight away use the action to get two rocks here. So, two rocks. And I better replace that nearby island with another one here. Time you raid. Raid means you um, raid the opponent. And that's one thing that's in this in the solo game. I don't think you can do. I haven't read into it properly whether you can. You're allowed to raid and pretend you get stuff. Um, I haven't gone down the pathway. I don't think you can. Okay. Okay. I'm going to spend two workers to sail. So two workers are spent. Um, the sailing action means I get to put this out. I could put some raised tokens or a fish on it. Um, I might put a fish on it. Yeah, I have a plan here during the expedition phase. Put that there on my sailing board. Um, I can then spend two uh, to gain a raised token and a fish. So spend two more. I'm down to two workers left to get another raised token uh, and a fish. Beautiful. Um, before I forget, I better spend um, my rock food and fish to get four stars. Rock, food and fish. I'm gonna get myself four points. Beautiful, 19 I'm on. Um, might as well spend a worker to get a gold coin. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay, what are we gonna do from here? Okay, so I've got a worker. Um, I've got two pawns left here. I'm going to sail again with this one. This time I'm going to take um, a raise token with me. Um, and that lines up underneath my other ship. I've only got, you've only got two ships. Well, for this clan, it only has two ships. So that's what I can do with sailing. Um, I think from now, because I've only got one more round left, I'm just going to harvest and I'm going to get my fish here. Might not be the most efficient, or should I get some... Actually, maybe, oh, this is interesting. Um, should I get timber or a fish? Um, I think I'll get some timber. I've got more abilities that use timber, I think. So let's get two timber. And I'm gonna start building up some food for the next round. Awesome. I think that's all I can do. Expedition time. Yeah, it's nice and sunny here. Um, so the top ship goes first. It has the fish on it. So it goes to the distant island. I'm going to choose distant island. I can still choose nearby if I want to. Going to distant island, I'm going to pillage this card here. I'm going to pillage the new island. I get three fish and a star. So it gets discarded. That fish will, I'll just get that. Three fish. So one, two, and three fish comes into my pile. My ship comes back. And this other ship that now comes up here, this is replaced as well. Do I want to go there? Well, I can't anyway, I don't have a fish. I can raise the left hand side. I'm going to raise uh, this one here, the shipwreck shore. I'm going to get a building bonus of a fish and a gold. Fantastic. Okay. Goes to my empire. Replace this. Um, I lose the raise token. Um, the ship comes back to my empire. And. We now into cleanup phase. These get discarded. New ones. Okay, extra fishies. Um, also, I better not forget, I did pillage once there. So, this ability I have here lets me gain a sheep when I pillage. So, I would get a sheep. Beautiful. Alrighty, let's keep cleaning up. <laughs> Hope you can see this. I'm going to turn these two back over. Sale and harvest are now more expensive. Constructor's still fine. Pawns come back out. All my workers come back. Start refreshing some cards. I'm gonna refresh all these cards. All this stuff, all this stuff, all this stuff. I've even got two more to the side of there that you can't see. Alrighty, let's move on to round four. I'm on 19 points so far. Um, plus 
what cards I have out here in excess resources. I think we're gonna get this done, but let's just complete it. Try and get the best scores we can uh, with this um, clan, the Glen clan. Okay, look at phase. One, two, three, four cards. I don't really need to build much more, I don't think. Um, but this is what we've got coming in. We can feature a copy, be um, a scarecrow thing or a table. Um, I can spend one and one fish to harvest. Ooh. But I want to get as much food as I can. Um, spend a rock to gain a point. Ooh, that could be handy. Um, and copy of a um, stonehenge like thing. Um... Okay, which of these is going to get me the best? I'm just going to get one, the stronghold. So I'm going to uh, spend a worker, just one out of my six, to have the stronghold in my hand. The event. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. Ooh, pray five again, is it? Oh, it's four. Okay, finally got something different. Four, um, cold. I'll discard a card from hand if possible. Oh, all right, I'm done with no cards already. That's a shame. Um, I've probably played this a little bit funny, this game. With, with I've played like a very small hand limit deck, um, but not a huge deal for me. So I've just got a bit of threshold 30, and I also need to keep some food, so fish or um, food behind. So I'm gonna keep this up. Um, let's use Spider Island. Spend a food to gain two food. So I'm just gonna grab that food. Um, let's use Mantis on, spend a timber to gain two, so I'm just going to grab another timber. Uh, let's use, wow, I've got so many of these things here. Let's use um, Tiger on, spend a rock to gain two rocks. Let's get one rock back in. Wow, that's pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Um, I'm going to use Small Market, spend a, um, a worker to gain a gold coin, so one worker goes to spend workers. I'm going to four workers, get a gold coin. Okay, you see how this sort of builds up a bit in this game. Um, I can't build anything in my hand. I can't use shipyard because I can't discard anything from my hand. Um, I can spend two to sail. Um, if I want to, there's nothing great to sail. But I've got excess workers. Okay, I'm going to spend two to sail. So I've got two more workers left after that. Um, I'm going to sail. Um, I'm going to put a raise token on it and go to a nearby island to conquer. An expedition phase. Um, may as well do this one. Spend two here to gain a raise token and a fish. So I need more fish. What I really need it for. Raise tokens don't do anything at the end of the game in this scenario. I think I've got enough food now. Um, yeah, I think I'll be right for food. So I'll probably do this one. Spend timber and a food. Timber and a food. Um, I get two points. Let's go up to 21. Um, and then I'll also retrieve one work. I've got one worker left. Not that I really need it, I think. Um, let's do the pantry. Let's spend a rock, food, and fish to get four points. Ooh. Rock, food, and fish. Let's get that right there. I'm going to get myself four points from the buried pantry. So I'm up to 25. That big symbol there, 25 in a multiplayer game, normally that would tell you the last round that will be played. Once someone crack, cracks that threshold, that will be your final round. Um, I believe that's how that works. I've only played the solo so far. Uh, what else can I do here? I've still got my two pawns, don't I? Um, I don't have any cards to discard. Um, I suppose I can do this. I can spend a worker um, to gain a timber. Let's just do that. Spend a worker to gain a timber. Alrighty, I've got two pawns left. Alrighty, I'm going to harvest here, I think. I have to spend a sheep to do it. So I've got a sheep here. I'm going to harvest my fish. I need as much food as possible. Um, I think I'm still one short. I've got to figure out a way to get another food to feed all my six people. I, mean, I may as well explore, I guess. Draw a card and see what I can get for it. Um, oh, it's fishing. That's unlucky. So this is a boost card. So when I explore to build this in any other time, um, I could attach it to the same good type so that white lock could become two fish. Um, I don't think I could attach that to the Marvel 
uh, marble mound or old forest, but that's okay. That's what I drew. I don't think I want to do anything else. I think we might end it there. Um, let's go to expedition phase. So I've got a ship out here that I want to, um, so I've got no fish on it, but I can go raise one of these two. I'm going to raise the Scorpion Island because as a bonus, I'll get a, uh, a fish. Okay, now it's up to the scoring phase. Um, yeah, just another note, this building bonus, I think that's how it works where if you conquer it, you get it. I can't find it in the rule book if that's any different or if you get a bonus every time you build. I don't know. Um, I don't quite understand how that works. So I'm sure someone will tell me if I've done that wrong. I apologize if I have. But let's do this. And this, maybe this is why it's easy than I think. So I get a victory point for each card I have built here. Um, including my field, so I get one, two, three, four, five, plus one for each empire, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, cool, the fields, 12, 13, 14, okay, then also get a point for each gold, it's always up to 14, I think I said, 15, 16, 17, 18 points, then I've got a cover this here uh, before you add any for buildings whoops sorry uh, which i'm up to 18 with um i have to spend a food or fish for each person in my supply if i don't i'll lose three per one's unfed i have six workers i've got one two three four five six fish so that's all catered for i then also get a point per two resources left over so it'd be 19 20 that doesn't count for anything Got another 20 points on top of my 25. I go up to 45. Fantastic. I got beat the threshold of 30. So I guess my empire survived the winter. There we have it, guys. That was Empires of the North. Um, played it solo. Please let me know if I've done anything wrong. Um, apologies for <laughs> the super rays down here. Uh, it's typical Australian when we get towards the summer. Alrighty. So, Solace, hope you enjoyed. Into crushing coming first, always play solo. Till next time.